Union's Defense Minister Rajnath Singh urges prescribed outfits to come back to mainstream. Defense Minister says government is ever ready to hold dialogue. Union Defense Minister Rajnath Singh says BJP does not ever consider Congress party as a competent rival for the upcoming election. Many candidates of various political parties, including Chief Minister North Wambirain, to hold the election flag hoisting ceremony as the bold day approaches. Manipur adds 92 new COVID-19 cases, 151 recoveries and one dead in 24 hours. Positivity rates tense at 5.71%. And India logs over 34,000 new COVID-19 cases, over 91,000 recoveries and 346 deaths in 24 hours. Recovery rate reaches 97.68%. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin and I'm Kanal Sambandram with you. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your marks properly and maintain a safe distance from one another. Please remember that the fight against COVID-19 is not over yet. Now, the news in details. Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh urged underground groups in Manipur to refrain from carrying out unwanted activities and come back to mainstream. The Defence Minister assured that the centre is wide open for holding peace talks with them. Rajnath Singh was speaking at the public meeting held at the Chajing Myren Kong ground in Langtabal Assembly constituency in connection with the flag hoisting ceremony of Langtabal Assembly constituency's BJP candidate. Emily Karamsham today. Addressing the public, Union Minister Rajnath Singh maintained that insurgency issue interstate is gradually declining with the advent of Bharatiya Janata Party led government. He claimed that Manipur has witnessed significant progress during the BJP tenure. He reminded that Manipur did not witness any blockade in the last three years under BJP governance. Rajnath Singh made it clear that the then Congress led UPA government cannot be compared with NDA government. He expressed firm belief that BJP will BJP government will return in Manipur. Congress sab dheere dheere pure Bharat mein politically insignificant hoti ja rahi hai. Aur ham Congress ko yahan main contestant nahi mante. Kyunki ab saath mare Bharat desh ki janta is baat ko samajh chuki hai ki ab yahan ki politics mein अब कोई बहुत रेलेवेंस कांग्रेस का बचा नहीं है और कांग्रेस की गवर्नमेंट्स जो इसके पहले रही हैं और इस समय की जो गवर्नमेंट है हमारे बीजेपी लेट गवर्नमेंट हमारे मोदी जी की लीडरशिप में और यहां पर वीरेंद्र सिंह जी की लीडरशिप में इन गवर्नमेंट्स की और कांग्रेस गवर्नमेंट्स का लोग कंपेरिजन करते हैं तो बहुत ही सहज तरीके से इस नतीजे पर पहुंचते हैं कि गुड गवर्नेंस देने वाली यदि कोई पोलिटिकल पार्टी इस कंट्री में है तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी है Meanwhile, the MLA Karam Shyam said the time of a former MLA Okram Joy is now over. He accused ex MLA for bringing unparliamentary and cheating the public by taking advantage of state issues. Karam Shyam expressed the firm belief of BJP winning the election in Langtabal Assembly constituency by securing a maximum number of the votes from 30 polling stations in the constituency. Rajnath Singh said BJP does not ever consider Congress party as a competent rival anymore for the upcoming election. Speaking on the sideline of flag hoisting ceremony of BJP candidate of Yes School Assembly constituency Y. Khemchand, he expressed a firm belief that BJP by winning 50 seats will strengthen the BJP government in the state. He added that Congress party is not favored by public now. 
Rajnath Singh reminded that NDA government, led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, has initiated and facilitated multiple schemes for public welfare. He stated that following Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision that India is not developed unless northeastern region is developed, significant developments have been witnessed in the northeast region. He claimed that BJP is the only political party that works in the interests of the public. Union ministers and BJP central leaders are intensifying election campaign in wake of 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly elections. Many candidates of various political parties held election in the flag hoisting ceremony today. Flag hoisting ceremony for Chief Minister Nong Thombambirin of Hyang. Hengang Assembly constituencies was held at his residence, followed by a public meeting at Luang Pokpa Multi Sport Complex. Speaking on the occasion, Union Law Minister Kiran Rijiju claimed that Manipur is progressing in many aspects and the state has seen the best from the governance only in the past five years. Taking part in the event, Assam Chief Minister Himanta Vishwa Sharma said Chief Minister Nong Thomba Birain led Manipur government rest stored law and order and curbed bond and block it in the state. Manipur ke log extraordinary talented hai. Main to ye har jagah mein kehta hu. One of the most blessed state in the country. Because Manipuri culture, Manipuri tradition and the beauty, the strength of Manipuri people, you can win the heart of anybody. Chai business ke chhatre mein ho, chai sports ke chhatre mein ho, chai wo literary ke chhatre mein ho, cultural ke chhatre mein, har drishti se India mein top number mein aata hai. Manipur extraordinary state hai. Lekin us samay Manipur ko अच्छा गवर्नमेंट नहीं मिला सब कुछ है भगवान ने ईश्वर ने सब कुछ दिया है मणिपुर को लेकिन उस समय मणिपुर को अच्छा गवर्नमेंट नहीं मिला इसलिए इतना ब्लेस्ड किंगडम इतना ब्लेस्ड स्टेट को इतना तकलीफ झेलना पड़ा मणिपुर को आईएलपी मिला मणिपुर को हाईवे मिला मणिपुर को रेलवे कनेक्टिविटी मिला ये सारा काम बीरेन जी का नेतृत्व में हुआ मोदी जी का आशीर्वाद से हुआ ये सब हमारा मालूम है आज बीरेन जी का नेतृत्व में विकास का एक नया इतिहास रचना किया गया मणिपुर में Chief Minister Nong Thumambirain said efforts are on to keep cadres of outfit under suspension of operation at their designated camps. Responding to impact news queries regarding delay in releasing BJP election manifesto, Chief Minister Nong Thumambirain said BJP National President JP Nadda will arrive in the state and release the manifesto soon. He expressed firm belief that he will win the upcoming election by securing over 20,000 votes. Joining <laughs> Union Minister of Law and Justice Kiran Rijiju encourages people of Manipur to vote for BJP candidates starting, stating that Prime Minister Narendra Modi late BJP government is giving extra focus to bring a change in Manipur. He was speaking at the public meeting come flag hoisting ceremony of Patsoi Assembly constituency's BJP candidate Sapamd Kunjakishore today. Eminent persons from all polling stations of Patsoi Assembly constituencies attended the event. को डेवलप करने के लिए मेरा तरफ से भी हंड्रेड परसेंट समर्थन मिलेगा मणिपुर के लोग बहुत टैलेंटेड मणिपुर के आर्ट मणिपुर के कल्चर 
और मणिपुर के लोगों का जो एनर्जी है ये अलग लेवल है अगर पहले से बीजेपी सरकार होता तो मणिपुर तो कहा और पहुंच जाना था मणिपुर को भगवान ने सब कुछ दिया है लेकिन बहुत सालों से खराब गवर्नमेंट दिया है Addressing the meeting, Kunj Kishore, alias Kaber, said Patsoy is tilted backward in many areas of development. He sought support from Patsoy Assembly constituency's residents in releasing his objective of bringing a development uh, in the constituency. In all front of Koi Namuk, Kitang the Nanthau Budo. Namuk Koi Nanthau is a one on four pots for a rival candidate. हेन की बने तुम तो अंतंग ध्यान रखती थोंड तब से है मस्से एंगों द ले जाते आई ये सपोर्टर सिंग आई ये सेंपराइजर सिंग द ले बने आई ये टीम द ले बने और ना मस्से निंशंग का नसी मोमेंट्स द की टिल द 28 किन में चाहे सी बोले कोई 24 इनटू सेवेन से मस्से वाक तो मिनर का बेजीबी थंबालमा कोई ये पास � Flag hosting program, the four Patsoe Assembly constituencies and PP candidate R.K. Rameshwar was held at his residence in Changangwe Uchikont in fall today. Speaking on the occasion, R.K. Rameshwar said his prime objectives are to solve water shortage issue, improve road connectivity and develop other areas in Patsoe Assembly constituency. He expressed belief that he will defeat his contender A.K. Mirabai of Congress Party by getting more than 3,000 votes in the upcoming election. Shorten the lady bar, fast success development will be a pass week in the lady bar. Prasam Yamgi, Awanapa, Unamaxi, Tamui Singa, Katopoglina, Aina Kangzaba, Uzaba, Bangal Luxing, Tonalingen, Tokuna, Pass week in the Asipu, Amukangi, Masak Topa, Kenda Matangi, Kunaba, Wanda Zarumge and Aina, Miam, Kalunana, Sanjin Zabani, Shonaibu, Zambiduna Ayana. Hamushi na ina kanzari ba niyang kita mukta sabato zaki ay ba kanzari ba si shromun na ubiradi lakad ba election siya na susuyo na may paksa bagle na pasuye kini kaya sabato zaki ngam zaki niya ba si patwa zaki niya. Yes, schools. Janata Dal, United's candidate Brinda Thaunaujam, the urge to support women candidates in the upcoming election. Brinda held her election the flag hoisting event at her residence in Yes, school Janmasthan in fall today, addressing a public meeting after they flag hoisting at Yes, school Janmasthan. Seco Club ground. TH Brinda said the upcoming election will be a huge battle between rich candidates and those who genuinely care for the state. Officer, office bearer of JDU Manipur State Unit and JDU candidates took part in the event. <laughs> NPP Manipur Vice President come NPP candidate from Yai School constituency Hudrom Vikram Jeet accused the ruling BJP government of the faulty system and the degrading the state's economy. He was speaking at his flag hoisting function held at Wangkhai Thangjumt Lekai today. The H. Vikram Jeet said even after implementation of 7th pay commission, state government failed to provide pension and salary to employees timely. He slammed the BJP government for failing to ensure proper road connectivity and drainage system in areas under Infault Municipal Corporation. A public meeting was also held at the Kongba Olalam Park. Maruwena municipality sector the Lady Assembly segment. Sigo Batongan Ba Diblement 
Manipur ki wina mama ine ba assembly segment tarit the lady ba Imphal municipality area se the lady se. Adu bol lairak kulak ma yam sing se yam na systematic koi dawa. Yum lai kerei dagi ekoi ki yam na thangnari ba koi ki north east ki higher gadi Guwahati na koi dagi ahan bani. Adu matang dagi koi Imphal se lai gadi dawne ba. Adu Guwahati the chandni riba town planning ki system, imsarol ki system, lairak kulak ki drainage system, ekoi si na. Ekoi na mui tegi matuk tam, maga kara koi sukara apply to gaya ba. Adu gumba municipality corporation sector hana gi lebi ramba engineering section, mechanical section la idna development se. Haja na mapung phan amko pangtuk chen ba. Adu mawa khallo ndu nengon dal lejeri se. Flag hoisting ceremony of BJP candidate of Yas School constituency. Minister Thokchom Satyavrata was held at his residence in Singjimai Wangma, Brahmapur, Vagyavati, Laikai, in fall today. Speaking on the occasion, Satyavrata expressed belief that public will vote for BJP in Yas School constituency this election. Yes, we can do the BJP. Can you see my park and have it? Has a very sad about Jay. I do a top bamana. I find the election the car matunda. Can the same savada? Kay the wall holy bapel hold of my am sumasuma pung hana lucini. I do the Sunatana Manipur yo by choosing the Tonganba Manipur Sia Huigi development to put that Kitan Ning Matunda Baja Hadi Dum Lady Matam Sanga. I find the Massima Savang on the Nina. I do how he was a Himari Makai Manga Sidati Yano Mapung Hana. When a Tabok. तो वंग में न लोग जाएं मरम दी शांति लाइबल लम्दा मामा वो ही बा अदर मखाता ना शांति लाइबल लम्दा मामा बन ब्लॉकेड लाइबल लम्दा मामा लहर लगा मनी पुरुष डेवलपमेंट लम्दा माय उनसे लगा मांग ना मुद्दम पुखना वो होना नहीं है वो पाव जेल डुपीजे नहीं है NPP candidate of Sinjamai constituency Oinam Romain said BJP should stop thinking that it will win the upcoming election either by hook or cook. He was speaking at his flag hoisting ceremony held at Sinjamai Oinam Thingeld. Roman said he does not restrict election campaigning. However, BJYM President M. Baris and his team shouting that BJP's Kim John will win this election in front of his residential gate is unfortunate. Jonathan United's candidate of Singjimai constituencies, Ngangbam Robert, said he will strive for making Singjimai a model constituency under various central sponsorship schemes, besides striving to provide job opportunities to youths in Manipur. Speaking on the occasion of hoisting his election to flake today at his residence in Singjimai, Chingam Mathak, the JDU candidate said JDU and Congress will be the main contender in Singjimai Assembly constituency in the upcoming election. Nahasi Yamanina Aduga government jobs to the Yamanate Atopa Minister the MSM through Natraga Sports Care Industry through the boy Moy Moga Sana Batreta Aquina Sais and Bibiba Lambi Bibiba Banking the Samina Ba Business the Moina Success or never a do it and be the way that I never said. Since my prison, I conduct it. Tang educated or qualified or me, Pame, a doggy public choice. I ever the Aiga, Tamo Hemos and the Katara, a dog when you can do my. Flag hosting ceremony of Kurai Assembly constituencies and PP candidate Laiton Jamjayananda was held at his residence in Kurai Konsum Lekai today. Speaking on the occasion to organize by NPP Kurai Block, Jayananda said there is an RTI report on how the locals sitting MLAs had misused the local area development fund in the past five years. He said his first priority is to initiate developmental activities based on geographical location and historical potential of places. Jayananda also assured of striving for youth empowerment, entrepreneurship, improving local industries and bringing quality education in government schools of Kurai Assembly constituency. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Election my power matum da. Ehak na election my power matum da. Ehak na to guda ba adum ba. Election plan do da base to organ miyam gu thaja baje. Hamna na ba hona gani. My power matum da koi na thamji ba election plan koi na kendra da lady ba kendra city koi di geographical potential amasu historical potential miyam se koi connect to organ kendra city lady ba youthing di samit kon se ma power kon se pang hamna na ba miyam thambani amasu. Aku education dah, kami nak kualiti tu, boleh buat change sama perubahan kami nak buat perai kender ni, boleh buat government di school sini sih, masih kami nak kualiti change sama perubahan kami nak buat priority pilih apa nak ni. LJPR candidate of Kurai constituency H. Suvaj urged public to refrain from electing a candidate who refused to cooperate with public. He was speaking at the flag hoisting event held at his residence in Kongpal, Kongkhamd, Lekai. A. Suvaj reiterates that the failure of the former Kurai constituency leaders failed to cooperate with public has hindered the constituency from progressing. He added this includes a failure to facilitate schemes to constitute constituencies beneficiaries thereby he asserts he will he joins electoral politics to bring development in the constituency mute amma hoy basi na praja gi nungai na ba leiri ba praja singa khusam nar ga sakni na bi wakhalo na se mihur hoy ba khuding makta maduma ai khoi madu gi wakhalo ndu dai khoi matam khuri mata lui nar ga sat patai hau gi ba mihur hoy gi ba kaya hoy di ba chi nisi ga कोई प्रजाग लोई नहीं याद बत्ती नहीं याद वो ये वाकल वाले से ऐ कोई मतम खुदी मतलब हुई ऐ कोई न मतम खुदी मतलब खंगी अधूना अशिकुम लबा मखोई का तिन्ने म्यूट और वैसिंग का प्रजा सिंग का तिन्ने याद बा लोई नहीं याद बगी तो वाकल वाले से ऐ हम दे दी मदी ऐ न थम जरूर हुई अमदी ऐ हम दे दी मदो ल Flag hosting ceremony for BJP candidate of Wangkhe Assembly constituency. Okram Henry was held today. A public meeting was also convened at the Soibam Lake Guy Citizen Club ground, graced by Chief Minister Nong Thombambirain. Addressing the public, Nong Thombambirain said Henry has been given the BJP ticket for saving BJP government. He stressed that residents of Wangkhe Assembly constituency should vote for Henry, considering his gesture. JDU candidate of Tangmaiban Assembly constituency Kumuk Chumd Joykishin says JDU will create history post 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly election. Addressing a public meeting today at the Kangjai Kangjabi ground in Imphal after his flag hoisting ceremony, Jay Kishin slammed BJP for allegedly trying to bribe the voters in Tangmaiban Assembly constituency. Thawaiban Assembly Constituency's JDU candidate Kumuk Jam Joy Kishan asks how can JDU be called BJP's Team B when JDU itself is a political party having its own leaders and status. He was speaking to impact news on the sideline of his flag hoisting ceremony. Stating that JDU gives a vision, Joy Kishan appeals to support JDU in the upcoming election. 
do not have anything to blame our party. Our party is giving a vision to the public. So they don't have any other things to blame. BJP is something bad in the party. That's why they want to say as a victim of party. How can we be victim of the party? We have our own status. We have our own our party leader. Sri Lalanji is a national president. Our Nitiji is there. Is there JDU is victim in Bihar also? Since I joined JDU, I convinced a lot of public leaders, not only from BJP and other from Congress and also to make a team that can fight Congress and BJP. So can we can be a big party in Manipur. That's why people started to believe in JDU. That's why leaders from BJP, Congress and uh, from other parties, they start to join our party. Thangwaiban Assembly constituencies BJP candidate Jotind Waikom the LHD seating Thangwaiban MLA of misappropriating funds sanctioned by the government to combat COVID-19 pandemic. He was speaking to media at the press meet organized by Thangwaiban Assembly constituency Varatiya Janata parties mandled at Hotel Nirmala and MG Avenue. Corporators of IMC Ward Number no. One. Two and 25 and Mandal members attended the press meet. Jotin Wycombe, they expressed disappointment that the local MLA did not even open a COVID care center in Thamaiban constituency during the second wave of COVID-19 pandemic. He also clarified that there is no alliance between BJP and JDU in Manipur. Condemning party hopping as election drew near, Jotin Wycombe, they appealed to elect a capable and sincere candidate in the upcoming election. So, I am Chauva, I am Aruba. National party is your way, my BJP, your way, Congress, your way, Trinamal, your way, your way, your way, your way. The party is your way, my nationalist, I am Vasayvani. Nationalist, where I am, 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 Tongan Tongan by election commission, I like him a car later. Talk, ma'am, Hajalaga, was a cousin Kadam in a cousin Kibes. Yam like you for the money. From the board of Tarama Kalsalu Baduna, Magi family singer game, ma'am, doing Maramda, Tongan Bawa, my Amal, you say, as you honorable Emil and Udi. BJP candidate and Kerao MLA Lorem Rameshwar assures of striving to bring development in Manipur and boost the income of Kerao constituency's residents if voted to power. El Rameshwar hoisted his election flag in the presence of Rajya Sabha MP Laysem Basana Jauba today. Speaking on the occasion, MLA Rameshwar claimed that he has initiated various developmental activities in the constituency with the support of the resident in the past five years. He has Shorts to develop Kairau into a model constituencies and enhance cordial ties among various ethnic groups. Rameshwar expressed hope of winning the upcoming election by securing more than 15,000 votes. He said his strongest contender will be either NPP or NCP candidate. <laughs> Then after election, my palm at Tunga, a paper Miam Pamba, and the same town must have won the Tavok Singh Mishanaba, the Anova, Manipurgi, Chocolaba, Kennessing Manunga, Karak and the Sama, or Hena Honagan, I have a Sima, Ayahan Makatamzaga, Adogalari Bakoge, Kennessi, a Kosing Mitami, Muslim Pulp, Jati Pulla Tavina, Koi Manipurgi, Tongatano Kendigang, the Quadi Nusinaba to Makendrama, Adoga Yusinga Pulaga, Kalagale, at this water so I call him Zari, Adana, Election Matunga, Lakapse Mangasida, Koi Kennessi, Manipur Sakutpa, Adumba, Modern Kendrama, we're going to have a Sima, Iwakanda. Flag hosting ceremony of a Siva Sena candidate of Kairau constituency Toijam Devananda was held at his residence in Kiyangai Khoirom Lekai today. Speaking at the event, the Toijam Devananda claims that the previous and present governments have long neglected Kairau constituency. He appealed to vote for Siva Sena this election. Lady <laughs> 
INC candidate from Mayang Imphal constituency, ex-minister Dr. K. H. Ratan Kumar said the five-year-long BJP governance has been the most unprogressive years in the constituency. He was speaking at his flag hoisting event held at his residence in Mayang Imphal, the Konchak, today. He laments that the constituency was once a front runner in development before BJP came to power. He condemned the shifting of a DIET center and failure to complete the constructions of district hospitals initiated by him. BJP na sahi mga paan bada mayin bal kendra gi oe na di. Amam ba numit oe re, amam ba sahi mga oe re. Akwe ki putasaram ba kongres ki matam da isa mang na tamani pae ringe matam da Paykal number project ke allocation bide dena le re district hospital hujuk pawpa mapung pan paykatte BJP sarkar asina ano ba project puthar pudi lai re dena Congress ki matamda puthar amba project singa se mina mulaga chat ki ba mapu pan daba adu umbar lamda mamu hoy re nung din pawpa mapu ki mamang da kura ga chat ki bata mapu na karim ta hai jabang umda ba adu umba yam na koi izat mang ba adu umba kendra mo hoy re. INC candidate of Langtabal Assembly constituency Okram Joy said Congress party allied with like-minded political parties in order to bring an end to efforts by some to create disharmony among communities. He was speaking at the public meeting convened at SYC Grand in Kwakta today in connection with his flag hoisting ceremony organized by Langtabal Brock Congress Committee CPI National Executive Member. Dr. Morang Tim Nara, who attended the event, stressed on the need to bring a change in politics. CLP leader Okram Ibobi, CWC member Gai Kangand, former Union Minister come state election in charge of Vakta Charandas, MPCC General Secretary Eld Tilotama and others took part in the event. <laughs> NPP candidate of Langtabal constituency K. Navakishore Elias Basanta expressed firm belief of winning the upcoming election in the constituency. He said his rivaled BJP candidate are not favoured by the public. Speaking at his flag hoisting at his Langtabal Kunja residence today, K. H. Navakishore said public will vote based in favour of capable candidate and their welfare initiatives and not based on political party. NPP Manipur State Unit members and NPP supporters attended the event. BJP Varga, Thambal Parga, Bhotkaga, the Nanti. Me, me, to the system of changing. People should be mind the power to me. Panayana Masu, Homagasu, Panayana Magi, changing Magi, Chablo Loragasu, Magi, Wakal to the Hanaki, Adam Lemon, Concern Rina, Magi, changing to Rida Rina. Must be new with the lay, party met the Hana Tamjagi. But new Masha Masada, Pilling Tobuni, Adam Aina Tokisu, Punama Katok Jarage. I will like a river so proper to Pazagan. Fully I have good sacrifice. Karigumba Amata is Hagi in Tandana, is Hagi was in Tandana. Malayan with the Mata I cut off Sergi and a Toprina. I don't the party in the day, I see the just Masagi, they will be behind it. 
Hyanglam MLA Dr. Y. Radeshyamd underlined on electorates in Hyanglam Assembly constituencies voting for a candidate who could take part in forming the government in order to lead the constituency in the path of progress. Radeshyamd said this during his flag hoisting ceremony at his residence in Langmaidong today. MLA Radeshyamd highlighted that law and order has been restored in Manipur and the state is progressing under the BJP government. The COVID-19 pandemic crisis has disrupted various development projects. Radhishyam assured us of accomplishing every incomplete project and strived to create jobs if elected. Hyrok Amelie Dr. T.H. Radhishyam was among those who took part in the event. Majority Panga Sukhoi Shoy and Sakar Shemani, Sigi Shem of Matungsida, Manipur Sakotarangi, Aquina, Shemzake, Hyder Development Put Tozaki and Kanzakiba, Walloba Mayam, Adoki Matakta, Lakadu Tams, Topum Topa, Tobayaba, Manipur Sakotarang, Maruna, Hialam Kendragi, Parks, our Bay Area Sida, Togotabana Yam Yamba, Aquina Tobur and Amhudaba, Topum Topa Mayam, the Sukhoi Shoydana, Aquai, Pangtok Sadana. Flag hoisting ceremony for Ketrigao constituency and CP candidate Poonam Dhrani Wankhind was held at his residence in the Porompa Thawan Thawalekai today. NCP state president S. Iboyaima, party leaders and residents of Ketrigao constituencies attended the event held by abiding COVID SOPs. Speaking on the occasion, Poonam Dhrani Wankhind said the seating MLA of Ketrigao constituencies is inefficient, hence the constituencies is lagging behind in many areas. BJP candidate of the Vishnupur constituency, ex MLA Govindas Kontaumjam, hoisted his election to flag at his residence in the Ningtao Kong Bazaar today. Speaking on the occasion, Govindas expressed a firm belief that BJP will emerge successful in the Vishnupur constituency and take part in government formation. <laughs> Isona Vidana Masing Yam the Henakaba, Adugumai Emile, Maswedana Igi Prajasing or Hin Bigani Prajasinga, Atat Akam Laitana, Tam Kuding Mata, Aigi, Grab Yang Bu, Aigi Prajasing, I won the Tazabiba, Aigi Prajasing, I have Punung Sibiba, Aigi Prajasing, Tambiba, I won the Nusipuna Muxing say Isona Ubiraga, Masing Yam the Henakahan Bibanga, the Nedana, Martiazanata party, Ispar, Salispar, Swedana, Mini Fu, Gimatakta. Akoi he laga Bharatiya Janata Party ki mapung hoye ba kanam ta yau daba nithi janamarom madom dom lepsa ba sarkar amas hoye na same mani amasung our dream is the vision of Narendra Modi. JDU candidate of the Vishnupur constituency's ex chief secretary retired IAS Oinam Navakishor said JDU will play a major role in new government formation in Manipur by winning at least 15 seats this election. Navakishor claims the same at his election, the flag hoisting ceremony held at his Lingtao Kong residence today. Diuna Handaki twenty twenty two election Sida Yamna Chauna Mai Pakani Yam Dravada Equegi Emile Tara Mangadi Kagani Hibegi Kwa Satawi Aduna Karigumba Lauk Fragadi Z Diuna Litova Sakarama Kwe Manipura Tamaga Lamda Masibu Chakotna Bagi Chakapu Lambida Equi Soidana Mangin Tangani. BJP candidate in Kontaujam constituency Dr. Sapam Ranjan hoisted his election flag at his residence in Kontaujam today. Speaking at the public meeting, Dr. Sapam Ranjan said BJP will form the next government by winning not less than 40 seats. BJP led government, I am not committed about government. We okay, center the BJP government, I am a pirate, but Manipur is a pirate, but quite double engine government. Sina Paikala Iba infrastructural development, connectivity ki development kya Southeast Asia ki corridor hang to pagi matang matam zida next five to ten years akwe ita saying na hiring the human resources development si yam na maru e bride and kanzi COVID pandemic sahi almost sahi ani muksi akwe pithri bida lay riba akwe COVID 19 pandemic is akwe sigi chai thing loina pang mina kre luckily akwe hozik hozik positivity rate si akwe manipuda handarei handarei na akwe checks minanda bayade. 
Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee President and Loken said BGP government is unstable like waves, hence it will not strive for long. He was speaking at the flag hoisting event of INC candidate of the Moirang constituency, MLA P. Sarachandra. Loken assured that Congress party will bring back a worthy and secular government in the state. <laughs> BJP candidate of Udipog Assembly constituency K.H. Raghumani also hoisted his election flake at his residence in Udipog Sorbonne Thingeld in Fald. Speaking on the occasion, Raghumani appeals to support BJP in order to bring development and to restoration of law and order in the state. Mamangai na kogi uribo kendra si manipogi upisa so so layram ba jagani layam hibangang yam lemedu kitang tayo na bedong tawo matam mo uye na ujek si kasi hana gi layi bedugi thatu yo fata ba haitare pura layi tre hibdi na tawa madu adumain na kitang pushap tawo gi habi wakalon danga ngapa bakra puto pa jima bisa na very prime uh, concern area for me lo ira puta state level na na abspagi then uh, no ilps ki si down ground the ilps si order to kre ministry of uh, home affairs na but ground implement tawo ka na di masi kitang yo fata bedong tawo ada dekara ai na Flag hosting and blessing ceremony of Janatadal United candidate of Uripok constituencies Kumbong Mayum Suresh was held at his residence in Iroishim. But today, Suresh appealed to support JDU for bringing development in Uripok constituency. Mina Kana, Libawakan, say, Pashana, Labor Yai, Sito, we I have Wakan Simapra, Tadu and Mangam, none of them, the system that challenged the Wena Tolokani, Hoi, Bizzi Piggy, Chip Spock Person, Pawns on Kambizoina, I want the phone, uh, support the Wahana Laubira Posita Sena, Pondo Pira Posa Egidiana, Nungaze, Adu, Hoi, Urupo Pazana, Su, Mahakna Kari, don't take one the support to we know, Hive say, Kanda Biba, Matam Yaurena Kali, Adu, Mana, support to Abadina. Mayang Fall Assembly Constituency's MPP candidate Kam and PP Manipur Vice President Uri Kimbam Ramesh hoisted his election flag at Sekmai Jind Thongam today. Speaking on the occasion, Ramesh, Ramesh said no government has initiated welfare activities in Mayang Imphal Assembly constituency for the past around 50 years. He appeals to youths to play a vital role in bringing positive changes in the constituency. Saito constituencies independent candidate How Khaled Kipgend lamented that there is no proper schools or college in Saito constituency of Kangpokpi district. He was speaking at his flag hosting ceremony held at Hanbung village. How Khaled Kipgend said Manipur will develop only when all the 60 MLAs work sincerely. He also assured of enhancing health sector if voted to power. A can rather di Nasi Pausi Sup Nagi College of Hava Latri School the Sup Hava Latri Sarkargi Sigumbasi Yabam K. Priority Pigani Lambi the Sukhoi Saitu Kendrasi Yam Sukhi Sarkargi Ricotta Yam Nasu Torambayare Adu Handagena Nugan Corner Chatlakpa Sidadi Karino Hik Manipuda Lady Ba Karino Hoi Saitu Kendrada Lady Ba Pivum Z. Chap Chana E. Upangi Masigumbasi Yaregadi a priority pigani, Aduimatakta, a quagi, hell sector, see, Adokimati, a quasi yam satina, a quasi sotre, a quite two hundred, a degi hundred sixty kilometer chatpapoda, a quasi primary health subcenter, see, Matik Jan Lady. 
Khetrigal constituency INC candidate Amin Saha hoisted his election flag at his residence in Khetri Bangund, Awang Lake Kai today. Speaking to Impact News, Amin Saha lamented over rising election related violence on the BJP led centre and state government. He stressed visible support from BJP towards ongoing Hadzib band issues and the country is in is indicator of the non secular governance. BJP na pan ban ra na traga mogi NDA alliance lai bi gira irang se makhan makhan gi thong na pataw ba hai ba di ekhoi gi da congress karmi o jut wan am am sa chari mai ma gi dharma da lai ba posak sida sai india have se di the secularism the base of sina lai gi posak ni adu na koi congress na ka strict to se du gi ne ba adu bjp se di ma gi oi jaba tong am am khatang hindustan sing se hindu twa da adi makha chakadam ni hindu rashtra oi gi mai ba ne ba Flag hoisting ceremony of INC candidate from the Wangoi constituency, ex MLA S. Joy, was held at his residence in Samuro today. Speaking during the occasion, S. Joy condemned the local MLA for failing to ensure government schemes to residents timely. Manipur reports 92 confirmed cases of COVID-19 out of 1,609 samples tested in the last 24 hours. COVID positivity rates stands at 5.71%. As per the latest report from State Health Department and COVID-19 Common Control Room, the total confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Manipur are 1,35,930. Active cases are 2,209. One COVID deaths was reported in past 24 hours, rising the death toll to 2,000. 84. On the positive note, 151 recoveries were reported in the past 24 hours, rising the total recovered cases to 1,31,637. Manipur's recovery rate stands at 96.84%. Well, now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. We will be back with details after the break. Until then, to watching Impact News. Mama Singi Oiba, Nungaiba Pau, Zona Lumhanba, Amadi Saita Gilik, or Hanbagi Awaba, the Gikok Nanaba, Dry Tobu, Anoba, Mami Poko Pen, Baksan, the Crisscross Shed Oibana, Yurin Botuna, Amadi, Hanjin Hanjin of Sinduna Puntarani, Tuyong Nat and Badaiperni, Hide Ba Diaper C, Japanese Company, Unicharm Gi Product Ni, Asia's number one baby diaper brand, India Gi, baby diaper market, the Chad and Nipu, Occupy Toriba, Mami Poko Pen, Bentley Gitch gives you good sleep. products contain honey. Kohi, taste the heart of Manipur. Welcome back. After the break, you're watching Primetime, the English Bulletin. India added 34,113 fresh COVID-19 cases, 91,930 recoveries and 346 deaths in 24 hours. As per the latest report of Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active cases in the country are 4,78,882. Total recoveries are 4 crore 16,77,641 and recovery rates tends at 97.68%. That toll reaches at 5 lakh 9,011. Over 172 crores 95 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine have been administered in India so 
so far. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 41 crore, 27 lakh, 32,000 people. Above 58 lakh, 36,000 people they have died and recoveries are above 33 crore, 33 lakh, 41,000. United States of America has the highest active cases of above 2 crore, 85 lakh, 45,000 in the world. BJP Manipur Pradesh President A. Sarada said Ilangbam Johnson was allotted BJP ticket to contest the upcoming state general election from Kesamthong Assembly constituency considering his long-standing commitment for various issues facing the state right from his student days. She said the same at Johnson's flag hosting ceremony held at his residence at Kesamthong Ilangbam Lekai today. His supporters from various polling stations of the constituencies attended the event. Sarangthemt Mani Chengle has been appointed as president of Tamayban Block Congress Committee. Lyshramt Janis as president of Youth Committee and Kaisam the Tamfa Mani as president of Mahilya Block Congress Committee. Tamayban Assembly Constituency Congress candidate Hijam the Nutan Chandra is short of striving to renew Thangmai Bant Block Congress Committee and its subordinate sales which have remained inactive for the past 30 years. The new leaders were inducted at the Nutan Chandra's resident in Thangmai Bant Thingel Maru today. Azakarba, Congress party bo ticket phangaga kaara kaara ga na thay na kaltho kaltho musakhi wa khalon chhemjari ba thay block Congress committee president aigi ikora salam thi mani chenglay maila ki president aigi thay ma kaisam tam phamani yuth ki president aigi now kaisam jenas hai ba khura amadi chhi chal sing now singi makada ikoi kasi aida irai lunga sa chal helga Congress party ki phidam ningai oira ba Congress party phazagra minister minister ordu ki makada thangoi bandanga si adu mula ba. Hebogari Gitang, Dumlava, Kunipana Pantok of Alexander Dikoi, Sapsana, Mai Pana, Tenanabi, the Motor Sam Sabalori Haina, Nasi Pazami, and the Economic Kuram Zamorena, Congress Party Bunu Sibu, Congress Party Bu Amona, Sakar Pine of Honabanga Simani Prusip, Kanabana, Congress Party as a Taudang Lai. NPF Jiribam District Committee decides to extend support to BJP candidate of Jiribam constituency and the Buddha Chandra. Speaking to media, Jiribam's Vidya Nagar Committee President Pao Singh Kamai appeals to electorates to both Hild and Valley to vote for BJP this election for bringing changes in the Jiribam constituency. He further appeals to assign him a ministerial post if he emerges successful in the upcoming election. Scrutiny was held today for the second phase of 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly elections scheduled on March 5. In Dungba constituency, BJP candidates Dingang Lung alias Deepu Gangmai and Indian National Congress INC candidate Gai Khang Namd completed their scrutiny without any issues at Tamilong Mini Secretariat. Religious leaders of the Muslim community, Maulana's Alauddin Kashim, asserts Muslim women will continue wearing hajid without restrictions and playing politics in the issues is unfortunate. He was speaking during press meet held at the Kwakta yesterday. He condemns Govinda's tweet, no to Hazib, yes to uniformed on the Twitter as a political conspiracy and appealed from the repeating such in the future. He advises to concerned authorities to consult high authorities for any Muslim related issues.
Teams of narcotics and affairs of the border NAB Imphal is led by Inspector K.H. Dev Kumar arrested a man for possessing around 13 grams of heroin powder from a location in Thiam, the area near the water supply. The arrested is 20-year-old Salamd Jack Maite, son of Salamd Ibungo from the Andro Kuno Lekai. The arrested, along with the seized items, were handed over to officer in charge of Irilbung police station for further legal actions. The 17th Mumbai Na International Film Festival of Documentaries, Sort, fi sort Fictions and Animation Films will be held from May 29th to June 5 at Mumbai's Film Division Complex. Online entries for the festival will open from February 15th till March 15th. Interested persons can submit their entries at www.miff. Dot in or at the official website of the Mumbai International Film Festival. Governor Laganeshan conveys heartiest greeting to people of Manipur, especially the Naga communities, on the joyous occasion of the Luingaini festival tomorrow. In his message, Laganeshan says Luingaini is a composite festival of all the Nagas of Manipur being celebrated for a bountiful and a bumper harvest. And the festival is now recognized as a tourist festival. The governor wishes peace and prosperity. Online applications is invited for MBBS course at Regional Institute of Medical Sciences for academic session 2021-22 on NE and NEEWS quota. Last date of submissions is on February 19th. For the details, will be available at www.rims.edu.in. Now the news from the world of sports. Sutlers K. Dinku and K. H. Manjid from Manipur has landed in Malaysia for Badminton Asian Team Champion 2022 to be held at Sah Alamd. In men's Group A team are India, Hong Kong, Indonesia and Korea. In men's Group B are Japan, Kazakhstan, Malaysia and Singapore. Manipur Badminton Association has expressed happiness that two badminton players are representing India in Asia's biggest badminton tournament and wish them all the very best. League matches of the ongoing Indian Super League ISL 2021-22 between Kerala Blaster and East Bengal is underway at Tilak Maiden Stadium since 7.30. In yesterday's league match played at Fatrodra Stadium, Mumbai City defeated Urissa 4-1. For the winners, Igro Angulo secured two goals at the 41st and 78th minute and Bipin Singh also secured two goals at the 47th and 73rd minute. For the losing team, Jonathan's D. Jesus secured one goal at the 90th minute. Hyderabad is leading the point table, followed by ATK Mohan Bagand and Jamsetpur. Well, that's all we have in this bulletin. Before we wind up, let's take a glimpse at the headlines once again. Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh urges prescribed outfits to come back to mainstreamed. Defence Minister says government is ever ready to hold dialogue. Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh says BJP does not ever consider Congress party as a competent rival for the upcoming election. Many candidates of various political parties, including Chief Minister Nong Thom Bambirain, holds election flag hosting ceremony as polls day approaches. Manipur adds 92 new COVID-19 cases, 151 recoveries and one death in 24 hours. Positivity rate stands at 5.71%. And India logs over 34,000 new COVID-19 cases, over 91,000 recoveries and 346 deaths in 24 hours. Recovery rates reaches 97.68%.
Well, thank you so much for being with us. Coming up next is Prime Time Manipuri Bulletin, which will be presented by our anchor, Ma'am Sonu Henby. In the meantime, for more news and information, please do not hesitate to follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Until then, have a great evening and always stay safe. <laughs> Srimati Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, February Gitarik Taramanga, English singer Nikuni Toida, Manipur Miang Damakta, virtually Wanganga Dori, Mijing Tabaka Viganu, a quick social media platform.